Today's adventure starts at the lake. Bunty too. Hello, everybody. May I present my new boat, Bunty Two. Bunty Two? Yes. You remember my old boat, Bunty? Bunty was a lovely boat. Yes, Bunty was a lovely boat until she met Big Bad Barry. You all know what happened then. Barry ate Bunty. Yes, Barry has eaten every boat I've ever made. But now I've built Bunty 2, my best boat ever. Six bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, a sun lounge, the ideal boat for a cruise to a tropical paradise. A cruise to a tropical paradise? How wonderful! And Bunty 2 doesn't run on clockwork. She runs on batteries. So she's super fast. going to stop Big Bad Barry eating this boat? Aha! I have a brilliant plan. What's the plan? Bunty 2 is never going in the water. Never going in the water? Yes. Barry is not going to eat Bunty 2. This is ridiculous. Why did you build a boat that you're not going to put in the water? Just for something to do. So we're not sailing to the tropical paradise? Nope. Oh, Dad! I thought we were all going on holiday. I've got a good idea. As your king, I command you to put Bunty 2 in the water and sail us to the tropical paradise. But what about Big Bad Barry? Don't worry. If Barry eats Bunty 2, I'll take full responsibility. What does that mean? You can blame it on me. The king is so wise. But, but... Good. That's sorted then. We're going on holiday. OK, but if we're going to do it, I'm in charge. And that means... Oh, this is an elf holiday, so no magic. Yay! A holiday! Next stop, the ocean! Yes, but first we have to get past Barry. You worry too much, Mr Elf. Maybe Barry won't turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Yum. Ah! What do we do? What do we do? There's just one chance. Bunty 2 is super fast. It's working, Mr. Elf. We're faster than Barry. We've left Barry really far behind. Good. He's given up. Hooray! Right, everybody. Let's sail to the tropics and swim among the corals. We're going on holiday, we're going on holiday. We're going on holiday to a tropical paradise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr Elf, it's lovely to see you so relaxed. Yes, with Barry far away, I'm actually enjoying this holiday. We're here, in the tropical ocean. Let's go diving. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Elf, are you coming diving? Um, no thanks. I need to catch up on some important reading. Right all. See you later. Chapter one. I was just a young servant girl and Squire Trevelyan, with his dark, broody looks and mane of black hair, was being very grumpy. I didn't like him at all. This is the coral reef. Amazing! Yes, it's all so pretty. Do you think we'll bump into anyone else down here? In the middle of a vast ocean? We're not going to bump into anyone. Ah, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, I am here, and I'm not pleased to be bumped into. Not pleased at all. It's Captain Squid, the pirate. Yes, it is I, Captain Squid, and I'm here burying my treasure. Burying your treasure? At the bottom of the ocean? The thing is, every place I bury my treasure, it gets found. 
So I thought if I bury it at the bottom of the ocean where no people ever visit, maybe, just maybe, my treasure might stay hidden. It's not too much to ask, is it? Well, we're very sorry to disturb you. We'll be on our way. Yes, be off with you. Get your own ocean to swim in. Uh, hang on a moment. There is uh, something you could help me with. What's that? It's a bit embarrassing, but uh, I haven't got a boat to sail home in. Can I have a lift? What happened to your boat? It got eaten by a big fish. Barry! Barry's here! The fish that ate my boat had big eyes. That's Barry. And a big mouth. That's Barry! And eight legs. That's not Barry. A fish with eight legs? Yes, it's a giant octopus and it's swimming towards your boat. Ah, I have to warn Mrs Elf. And then Squire Trevelyan said, Here is the great secret I must tell you. The person I truly love is... Yes, this had better be important. Yes, uh, don't panic, but there is something swimming towards you. Oh, yes, what sort of a something? Uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs something. Oh, yes, I see it. What should I do? Would you mind telling it not to eat my boat? Now, listen here, Mr Octopus. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Quick, to the surface! Naughty octopus! Stop eating! Stop at once, I say! <laughs> ah, my boat! Eaten! I said this would happen! No, you said your boat would be eaten by Big Bad Barry, but it was eaten by a giant octopus. It's a disaster! Don't worry. I said I'd take responsibility, and I will. And? That's it. I've taken responsibility. Fine. Well, I hate to ask, but Nanny Plum, can you magic a boat up so we can go home? No. Why not? Because you said blah, 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 no magic, and you took my wand away, remember? Oh, yes. So I did. So, we're stranded here. No, I've just had a brilliant Mr Elf idea. I'll build a raft out of the wreckage. And we'll help you. Yes, Dad. We'll lash the pieces together with rope. There, finished. May I present Bunty 3? What's Bunty 3? This boat. Bunty 2 was prettier. It's not meant to be pretty. It's a raft. I know what a raft is. Where's the bathroom? Is it downstairs? Ah, there isn't a downstairs. Don't be too harsh on Nanny. She doesn't know as much about rafts as us sailors. By the way, where's the kitchen? Is that downstairs too? Yes, it's probably next to the sitting room. This is a raft. There aren't sitting rooms and kitchens and bathrooms. It's not very luxurious then, is it? No, it's not. But it will get us home. And so, Squire Trevelyan turned out to be nice after all. And I married him. The end. My goodness! That was a surprise ending. Land ahoy! We're home! Yes, but that means we're near to Big Bad Barry. Stop worrying, Mr Elf. Barry might not turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Oh, he's been waiting for us all this time. How sweet. He's going to eat Bunty 3. Yum, yum. Ah! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Don't worry, everyone. Whatever happens, I will take full responsibility. That makes everything all right, then. My boat is gone. Gone into Barry's tummy. Curse you, Big Bad Barry. You'll never eat another boat of mine. Never. Never. Because I'm not going to build a boat ever again. I think you've upset Barry, Mr Elf. Look at his sad little face. <laughs> he is crying. I've never seen a fish cry. You shouldn't be so unkind to Barry. What? Yes, Barry doesn't mean any harm. Doesn't mean any harm? Mr Elf, as your king, I command you to build another boat for Barry. 
Aye? What sort of boat would you like, Barry? A sailing boat? Yum, yum. A sailing boat for Barry, please, Mr Elf. King Thistle is so wise. Yes, we are very lucky. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Rocket. No time to read the newspaper, Your Majesty. There is King's work to be done. What King's work? The elves want you to inspect their latest toy. Oh, I don't like these elf toy inspections. The toys are always perfect, and all I say is they're perfect. There's the elf truck now. Hello, Your Majesty. May I present the very latest elf toy? A space rocket. It's perfect. Don't you want to see it fly? <sighs> OK, if I must. Is that it? Yes. But it's called a space rocket. It didn't go anywhere near space, did it? It's just a toy, Your Majesty. Just a toy? I could kick a football higher than that. And rockets should be able to go higher than footballs. Well. I'm sure we can make it go higher. How high? I could make a rocket go to the moon if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I'm an elf. <coughs> and elves can do anything. Very well. I command the elves to build a rocket to fly me to the moon. And me! To fly me and Princess Holly to the moon. And me and Gaston. <coughs> and Nanny Plum to look after the children. I bet you can't fly Holly, Ben, Gaston, me and Nanny Plum to the moon. You're on. By tonight. Oh, OK. Marvellous. See you later, then. Come on, Ben. We'd better go and start making that rocket. It's a matter of elf honour. OK. Bye, Holly. See you tonight. Bye. Ah, how did the toy inspection go? Uh, did the king say the toy rocket was perfect? Uh, he thought it could go a bit higher. Oh, really? Well, I suppose I could fit as strong as spring. How high does the king want it to go? To the moon. To the moon? And I said we could have some people inside. People inside? By tonight. Impossible! Elf honour is at stake. Elf honour? In that case, we must do it. We'll build this rocket and we'll fly it to the moon tonight. Stop toy production at the Elf Factory. Start work on the Elf Rocket immediately. Right on! <laughs> Now, I will work out how to get the elf rocket from here... The Little Kingdom! ...to here. The Moon! Ah, Nanny Plum, I'd like you to join us on a little trip this evening to the moon. A trip to the moon? That sounds nice. I'll pack a picnic. Hello? Hello, Your Majesty. The elf rocket is ready. That was quick. Elves work quickly. And we're elves. <laughs> ah! May I present the elf rocket? Not bad. Does it fly? Does it fly? Of course it flies. It's an elf rocket. The rocket will land here, in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, the seaside. We can make sandcastles. We can have a picnic on the beach. And you can go paddling in the sea. There is no water on the moon. But what is the sea made from? Just rock. A sea of rock? What's the point of that? Listen, everyone. This is a very serious mission. There'll be no swimming or picnic. Here is the main cabin. The cabin is a bit tiny. I might stay down below in the kitchen. The kitchen? There isn't a kitchen. No kitchen.
Jen? What's all this big space for, then? This space is for the fuel, Nanny Palum. I have worked out exactly how much fuel we need to get you to the moon. Where's the toilet, then? There isn't one. You'll just have to go before you leave. No toilet? But if we're having a picnic at the seaside, we'll need... Nanny Palum, it's not a picnic at the seaside. It's a very serious mission. We are going to the moon. Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check! Engines ready! Engines are go! Computers ready! Computers online! Fuel system ready! Fuel systems A OK! Start the countdown! I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Or fairy. Oh, sorry, Ollie. You are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and A-OK, -okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! I'm flying! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do anything. Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. <coughs> Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! <coughs> Hang on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all of the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. Hello! My wings don't work! We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <coughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready! <laughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum! Hold on! Hold on? Hold on to what? Oh, no! We can't reach Nanny Plum! Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough! Oh, no! Lost in space! And I never even went to the toilet! Here's your lasso, Ben! Thanks, Dad! Keep still! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you! Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf! Honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. 
our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. This adventure continues in our next episode. Picnic on the Moon! Today's adventure starts at Gaston's house. Gaston is lost. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston, are you in? <laughs> <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Gaston's taking a while. Yes. Where is he? Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny Plum. Ben! <coughs> Home time! And that's my mum. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let's play with Gaston. Yes! yes. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? Gaston! Gaston? Good morning, children. Has anyone seen Gaston today? No! Has anyone seen Gaston? No! no. Has anyone seen the ladybug? No. no! Gaston is lost! Nanny! Nanny! Have you seen Gaston? Gaston? No. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him at all today. He usually comes in for his breakfast first thing in the morning, but he hasn't touched his food. Gaston is lost. Don't worry, Holly. We can find Gaston by looking in a crystal ball. Let's use this one. It's a snow globe with a little Eiffel Tower inside. Yes, pretty, isn't it? There you go. Paris in the snow. It's almost like you're there. But how can a snow globe find Gaston? Ah, that's where we need a little magic. The snow is clearing. Ooh. That's Gaston's house. Well, there's Gaston. The crystal ball is showing us what Gaston did yesterday. And then we can work out where he is. Very clever, Nanny. Not just a pretty face, eh? Where's he going? That's me, feeding Gaston yesterday. Good morning, Gaston. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> Hungry boy. Where would you be without me to feed you? Now where's he going? He's at the fairy village. Morning, Gaston. That's my mum. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> He's had two breakfasts. I thought it was just me who fed him. Bye, Gaston. <coughs> He's off again. He's at the great elf tree. And that's the wise old elf. Ah, Gaston, I haven't forgotten you. Here's your breakfast. <coughs> I don't believe it. That's another breakfast. Oh, Gaston's off again. He can't eat any more breakfasts. Look, he's at the playgroup. And that's Mrs Fotheringill. Here's your porridge, Susan. Susan? Good girl, Susan. By my reckoning, that's four breakfasts. I think Gaston needs lots of food because he does lots of running about. <sighs> Oh, he's fallen asleep. I'm not surprised after all that eating. <laughs> Look, it's us. Yes, we played with Gaston yesterday. Gaston, are you in? <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. We 
know this bit. Can you skip past it? OK, I'll fast forward. Oh, Gaston has vanished. Let's watch that again. Stop! There he is. Forward a bit. Oh, he's disappeared. Back a bit. Forward. Gone. He jumps behind those clovers and disappears. So that's where he must be. Come on, we have to find him. Let's get the others to help. Wise old elf! Wise old elf! Gaston needs rescuing. You found him? Not exactly, but we know where he was before he disappeared. This is where Gaston was last seen. And then he vanished behind some clovers. Which clovers? There are lots here. We'll have to search all of them. Gaston? Gaston? Where are you, Gaston? This is crazy. How can anyone just disappear into thin air? Ah! Oh, where's my mum gone? Help! Help! Mum, where are you? See you. Are you invisible? No. Look down. Gosh, a hole in the ground. I can't see a thing. Wand, give me light. It's a huge cave. Ooh. Ooh. It's full of sparkly diamonds and gems. Ah, looks like we've found a bit of the old dwarf mine. Yes, the little kingdom is riddled with dwarf tunnels. Those dwarfs certainly like to dig. Help! Help! Mum! Hello, everyone! I found Gaston! <laughs> Gaston! Come on, everyone. We've got a ladybird to rescue. Uh, what about me? Oh, yes. Sorry, Mum. I forgot about you. Charming! Let's climb down! It's a good thing I brought the elf rescue rope. Here we come! Whee! <laughs> Whee! Well, Gaston! <laughs> Gaston must be so hungry! <laughs> I can hear voices! Someone's coming! Hide, everyone! In our dwarf mine, oh so old We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold <gasps> It's the dwarves! Dinner time! <coughs> Good boy! <coughs> when you finish that, there's pudding! I don't believe it! Gaston's only been here a day and he's already got people feeding him! Right, lads, back to work! Dig, dig, dig! Dig, dig, dig! Lucky the dwarves didn't spot us. They don't like strangers in their minds. Yes, that's why I took the precaution of hiding the elf rope. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here... How are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries. We'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Ugh. <sighs> OK, I'll magic the rope to the top. Ooh. Come on, everyone, let's go! Wise old elf, aren't you climbing up? I am not climbing up a magic rope. See yourself. You can live down there forever. OK, OK. I'll climb up the magic rope. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. What are you doing here? I came as quick as I could. 
could when I heard Susan was in trouble. Susan? Who's Susan? Susan the ladybug. <coughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Gaston. <coughs> he won't answer if you call him Susan. Susan, I've brought you something to eat. <coughs> Poor Susan. Who would look after you if I didn't? Hmm? I've got a feeling Susan would manage just fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts in outer space. Picnic on the moon. Woo! -hoo! Elf rocket to mission control. In a few minutes, we will land on the moon. Very good, Mr. Elf. You are on target to land in the Sea of Tranquility. Lovely. Once we're at the seaside, we can eat our picnic. Oh, Nanny Plum, for the last time, we are not going for a picnic. Why not? Because this is a serious elf mission to the moon! We can still have a picnic. Ready, everyone? We are about to go where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Oh, yes, sorry, Holly. We are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Look how high I can jump! This is brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. Plant the flag. Done. Three, go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's the Sea of Tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the Sea of Tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> Ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien! Amazing! This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen Ever! Do you think he'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes. <laughs> Bingo! No! Don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look, the aliens love building sandcastles. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah! Magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand, remember? It wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly jelly! What's it doing? 
Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Whoa! Jelly blood! <laughs> What's happening? Ah! Nanny Plum has flooded the sea of tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the mood will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the Sea of Jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly. But the aliens jelly. like the jelly. They're eating it all up. <laughs> they love it. I'd better make some more. Magic bath. No! Nanny Plum. I forbid you to make any more jelly on this mission. But look at the aliens' sad little faces. They're still hungry. No more magic jelly. OK. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a bit of jelly myself. Oh. Nanny, we can't eat the picnic anyway. Our space helmets are in the way. That's the last straw. No water in the sea, and we can't eat food. What kind of picnic is this? It's not a picnic! OK, let's go home. Nanny Plum's right. It's time to go. Well, that's what I've been saying. Bye-bye, aliens! Bye! Bye-bye! I like aliens. Yes, they're lovely. Everybody, get ready for takeoff. I will set the controls for. Oh. What is it? Fuel tank is empty. Ah, we seem to be out of fuel. What does that mean? We are stuck on the moon forever. Oh, no. What? What's wrong? I put enough fuel in the rocket to get to the moon, but I forgot about getting back. Oh, dear. That was a bit silly. Yes. Yes, it was very silly. It's all because of your little elf rules. If you'd let us bring our fairy ones, we could have used magic to get us back. But, of course, There's someone... been quite enough magic for one day with that picnic basket of yours. I didn't mean to make so much magic jelly. Magic jelly? Of course! Nanny Plum, listen carefully. I want you to put the magic basket into the fuel tank. Why? There's no time for questions. Just do it. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> We can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. Lots, lots, lots. <laughs> Please land the elf rocket in the frog pond. Right ho! Where are they? <gasps> there they are! Stand back, everyone! Ben and 
Polly. <laughs> we flew to the moon and back. The mission was a complete success. Thanks to the wonders of elf cleverness. Thanks to my magic jelly, you mean. What? Without my magic jelly, we'd still be on the moon. Now, now, Nanny. Let's not argue over the little details. Let's just say elf skill got us to the moon and fairy magic got us home. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Chickens ride west. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It's morning. I've got to do my deliveries. Relax, Mr Elf. It's early. Oh, yes. I love these quiet moments before the day begins. Yes, it's so lovely and peaceful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, it's the cockerel from the elf farm. The chickens have escaped. <laughs> we have to round them up. Come on, you chickens. Whoa. Come on, chickens! Come on, come on! Come on, chickens! Come on, choo choo! Whoa! Good! Everything's under control! Thanks for your help, Mr. Elf. Lucky you were still here and not off on your deliveries. Oh! My deliveries! I really am late now! <laughs> Look at the little primroses. So pretty! <laughs> Good delivery! Morning, Mr. Elf. You're a bit late today. Yes, we had a problem with the chickens this morning. Chickens, eh? That reminds me. I really fancy an egg for breakfast. Ah, I didn't bring an egg today. No egg? No problem. I'll just go and get one. Can I come along? Of course. I'd better come too so I can pick a good egg. We'll drive back to the chickens, pick up the egg, load it on the truck, drive back here, and hey, presto, you'll have your egg, Your Majesty. Oh, all that for one egg? It'd be simpler if I had my own chicken. Then I'd get an egg in time for breakfast. <laughs> OK, bye. Bye. You don't really want a chicken, do you? Of course not. I was joking. An egg! The king wants an egg! Does he? We might have a problem there. The chickens aren't laying any eggs. What? Why not? The chickens have run out of food. They've pecked away all the plants. Till all that's left is mud. Yes, if you want a nice flower garden, don't keep chickens. Look, there's one little flower left. Oh, they like eating little flowers the best. Hey, you cheeky chicken. If only there was somewhere else they could live. Oh, Daddy said he'd like chickens at the little castle. Yes, he did sort of say that. It's true. The king said, I want my own chicken. It's the perfect solution. We'll move the chickens to the little castle. OK, everyone, we're moving the chickens west. Saddle up, cowboys. Yahee! Boys, you're moving chickens, so shouldn't you be called chicken boys? Uh, cowboys sounds better. Can I be a cowgirl? Sure thing, Holly. Here's your hat. <laughs> Wagons roll. Yeehaw! Yahoo! Yahee! Yippee! -yay, okay! -yay. <laughs> I didn't realise moving chickens was so naughty. The chickens like noise, but we must be careful not to make a sudden loud noise. We don't want a stampede. Sudden loud noise? What, like bang? Ah, chicken on the loose! Whoa! This way, this way! Phew! That was close. Now, no more sudden loud noises, Nanny Plum. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west. Wagons are a rolling, west we are going. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west. We've reached Crooked Creek. What do you mean, Crooked Creek? 
It's a creek, isn't it? And it's crooked. It's just a little river. Somehow we have to get the chickens to the other side. And chickens don't like crossing water. <laughs> I thought chickens loved water. Have you ever seen a chicken in water? All the time. Swimming up and down, going quack, quack. Look, there's one. <laughs> That's a duck. <sighs> Whatever. Chickens are not ducks and they don't like swimming. Ooh. So what can we do? We'll use an old cowboy trick to get the chickens across. Wait here. What's the old cowboy trick? I don't know, but it's bound to be very clever. Or very silly. But probably funny. Ta-da! Told you. He's dressed as Humpty Dumpty. Why is old elf? Why are you dressed as an egg? Chickens like to look after their eggs. So, if they see one floating across the water, they'll follow it. I'm an egg. Come in, chickens. The water's lovely and warm. I'm an egg. <coughs> They're following the egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. That has to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. You see, it's all quite simple when you're an old cow hand like me. <gasps> oh, what's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a cowboy in his underpants before? Wow, the chickens really like picking up flowers. They're eating machines, leaving nothing but mud. Yes, are you sure the king said he wants chickens at the little castle? That's what Daddy said. I want chickens at the little castle. Very well then, saddle up. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west. Wagons are a-rolling, west we are going. We're in the Badlands. Badlands? It's the meadow. We'll stop here for the night. Get the wagons in a circle. Let's keep these chickens safe. Ah, sleeping outdoors with a campfire. Life doesn't get better than this. Unless you're home in bed, watching television. Talking of home, we'd better phone the king. Hello? Hello, King Thistle. We're almost there, but we need to camp out for the night. Wow! How long can it take to deliver one egg? Don't worry, Daddy. You'll have your chicken by the morning. My chicken? What does Holly mean by that? Bedtime, everybody. Nanny, you keep watch. What do I have to do? Keep watching the chickens and do not fall asleep. Righto! Morning, Nanny Plum. How did it go in the night time? Uh, fine. Where are the chickens? Oh, they've gone. Gone? The whole point of watching them was to make sure they didn't go. You never said that. You just said watch them. You watch them wander off into the night? Yes. Oh, all right, cowboys. Let's round up the chickens. Come back, chickens! Chickens, come back! Nanny, remember, no sudden loud noises. We don't want a chicken stampede. All right. You aren't exactly quiet yourself. Ha! Elves are good at being quiet. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. Ah! Whoops. The chickens are stampeding! <laughs> We'll head them off at the pass. Head them off at the pass? What does that mean? No idea. But they say it in all the cowboy films. The chickens are heading straight for the fairy village. <laughs> ah, chicken stampede! <laughs> Which way did the chickens go? They went that away. Yes, that's what they say in cowboy films as well. They went that away. Ah, <sighs> it's so lovely to wake up to the song of a little bird. <laughs> Good grief! What are those chickens?
chickens doing here? You said you wanted a chicken, Daddy. I didn't expect you to take me seriously. You're the king. Of course we take you seriously. What are they doing to my flower garden? Eating it, Your Majesty. If you are going to keep chickens, you have to say goodbye to flower gardens. But you can have eggs for breakfast every day. <laughs> And you won't have any problems waking up. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the great elf tree. Lucy's picnic. Now, children, is everyone ready for the tour of the elf factory? Yes! <laughs> this way, please. <laughs> All aboard! Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. <gasps> ah, my tummy! <laughs> Here we are, the Elf Factory. Goodness me, look at all this rubbish. Don't you ever tidy up? This isn't rubbish, Nanny Palum. These are the raw materials we use to make toys. The plastic bottles are made into gloop. <laughs> the old tin cans are made into clockwork gongs. And the old paper and card goes into the pulping machine and gets squished into flat sheets, which are folded into new boxes for our toys. Wow! That's very clever. Elves are very clever. And we're elves! <laughs> This way, wee! 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 The Elf Factory produces one new toy every second. What happens when you go to bed? Does the Elf Factory stop? Certainly not. We work day and night to make sure the children of the world get their toys. The Elf Factory never stops. Elf Factory stopped. What? Slight problem, I'm afraid, wise old elf. We've run out of plastic, metal and old paper. Let's just magic up some more. No, not magic. We're elves and we... Ugh, don't do magic. So what are you going to do? We'll simply go to the Great Elf Tower. Ooh. To the Great Elf Tower. What is the Great Elf Tower? Oh, it's a wondrous place. I've never heard of it. The Great Elf Tower gives us all the things we need to make toys. How does it do that? When big people have picnics in the Little Kingdom, they put plastic bottles, tin cans and old papers into the Great Elf Tower. <laughs> We're here. Behold! The Great Elf Tower. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes... Uh, uh, Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh, Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. 
I think the great elf tower is empty. Oh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is Dad, I can hear oh, big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. Rump, rump. That's the rump, sound of big rump. people. Quick, get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. Ah! Ooh, a little fairy. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree! There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! Ah! It's OK, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <clears throat> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy! Home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> uh. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look. It says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of, um, fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. Mm, magic. Very well. Magic it is. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Go, car! Go, go, go! 
there. Just enough fairy dust to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy, who are you talking to? I met some elves and fairies. <laughs> That's nice. The car is shiny today. I've never seen it so sparkly. It's fairy dust. <laughs> what a sweet idea. <laughs> <laughs>